Hello everyone. By some of you guys' request, today I'm going to do a full detailed video on how to create a simple token and most importantly how to add liquidity on any network and any DEX, including PancakeSwap, Uniswap and other platforms and networks. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we want to deploy a standard token, a clean token with no fees and nothing at all. And then we're going to add liquidity on PancakeSwap. I will be doing this on uh, Binance Smart Chain because the fees are a lot cheaper but it's the same procedure in all networks and all platforms like you will be able to do to add liquidity on uniswap and ethereum network by just following the same steps i'm showing here on binance and PancakeSwap. okay so the first thing is we deploy the smart contract which i will also upload to my github so in case you need a clean smart contract you can get it uh, for free on my github okay so the only thing we need to change here is at the end of the code we add the contract name and the token name and symbol okay so it's pepe token pepe symbol and uh, pepe name okay after that make sure to compile in this case using a compiler 8.4 and then we go to the deployer section here we need to make sure we have a selected injected provider metamask and then uh, at the contract make sure you select the contract that you just named because if you deploy any of these you will uh, not get what you need after that here we add the total supply i'm just gonna add random number and click transact okay confirm and we prepare to verify the smart contract. Okay, it is deployed. We have 10,000 tokens. I just want to explain to you that uh, for this particular uh, smart contract, we need to add the amount we deploy in uh, way so to deploy uh, to create 10,000 tokens we have added here 10,000 and 18 zeros uh, after that okay so you can uh, whatever number you add you need to convert it in way there's a lot of websites that can do or you can simply just add 18 zeros extra okay after we have deployed we click on the uh, verify make sure you select the correct version you used and the license mit license continue and paste the code here I'm uh, not sure what I did wrong there. Okay, verify and publish. And then we can go ahead and uh, see how we can add liquidity for this token. Okay, so now we have the token ready and we're going to need the token address. Now let's go over to PancakeSwap at the trade. We select liquidity. Now uh, 
uh, one of my clients that asked me to do this he wants uh, to to know about the v2 but we're going to explain here the v2 the old version and the v3 so we're going to explain both so the v2 is the simple way you just click add liquidity here at the top you select which uh, tokens you want to add as pair so the first one is bnb in this case and our token so we're going to add bnb paper you can as well do usdt paper or uh, another token but keep in mind that adding another token as liquidity it will cause to have a lot of more fees when buying and selling because everything has to go through BNB first. So if you add uh, USDT Pepe uh, liquidity, uh, when user does a transaction, it will actually swap for BNB first and then swap again for USDT. So if everything is going through BNB first, why just not add BNB liquidity? In this case, BNB, but could be Ethereum on uh, Ethereum network. Okay, so we click here, uh, add V12, V2, uh, sorry, V12, uh, V2 uh, liquidity, and here we simply add the amount of BNB we want to add and the amount of Pepe. Okay, this is for V2. Let's enable. And uh, we have to calculate the price uh, on our own in order to get uh, uh, the price we want to set for initial price by just adding uh, by calculating the amount of tokens and BNB you add. Now we simply here, we simply click add and the liquidity will be added. I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to add, but it's just simply a click of a button. Okay, now we explained how to add in V2. Now going to explain the V3. Now the V3 is a bit more complicated. We click here. Let's go back from the start. Click trade, liquidity, add liquidity, and it's gonna give you a V3 automatically. Okay, so we have BNB here and we add our token here. This is the percentage of the fees you earn on each swap. I would recommend you go for 0.05 or something like that. Okay, so for the V3, you can actually set the price here. We want to see uh, the PP price in BNB, so we make sure to have this at, on Pepe, okay? So let's say we want to have a pepe price for initial price 0 0.001 BNB and now it will automatically calculate for us how much tokens we want to add and how much BNB. Okay, so we so we only have to specify one of them. So let's say we want to add uh, twenty five percent of the tokens. It will automatically calculate how much BNB we want to add to have this price. Okay, so we click add and 
we add as well. In this case, I don't have enough BNB to cover the fees. I'm gonna do a little less. Okay. Okay, so I have, now I can add liquidity and we are ready to go. People will be able to buy. Okay, so we have added liquidity, 2000 Pepe tokens and $5. Okay, so this is how you do it guys. You can easily calculate the price uh, for the V3 and the V2. You can even easier calculate by using USDT as a liquidity pair. But as I told you, it will have to go through a lot of transactions to buy and sell because it has to go through BNB anyway. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you need anything else. Uh, feel free to ask questions on the comments or suggest me what video should I do next. Thank you and see you in the next video.